what to do when a politician tries to fall into your vagina feet first. My body is not yours to pump, lobby, or legislate. There are no campaign funds tucked in my moccasins or in the folds of my flesh, and the last time I checked, there was no ATM in my vagina, no fuzzy slipper morning after episiotomy, no sling back in time mentality. There simply is no room in my womb for your party to meet my fallopian tubes and not earbuds eager to listen to your rhetoric because all you want to do is get in my business. You got no business being down there. I mean, if I had wanted you down there, you'd have been invited all shiny six inch stiletto, but you were not invited. So now you just want to barge in all still toed Timberland so you can try to cross train tell me how to run what I have been running my whole life and what's fucked up here. And then I understand your God complex. I mean, you've been planting your flag in other folks' intentions for so long and some habits die hard, but I'm thinking that if your God really wanted you in my pants, he'd have made you me. And I don't have time for your nonsense. The way you flip-flop agendas, stumbling on the untied laces of your misplaced metaphors, confusing women of today with those you tried to deny the right to vote with all your platforms and oversteps that I'm sure. That in your supreme wisdom, you understand how this entire conversation is inappropriate and since you cannot walk in my shoes, I'm going to need you to take them off. You are scuffing up my shine. But if you want to talk about fair housing, equal pay for women, educational benefits that ensures each and every one of my babies goes to college. If you want to talk about health care or basic human rights, I am down for that. But if all you want to discuss is how you think I should honor my body, you are wasting your breath. You cannot dictate who lives in my womb or who is evicted. And how dare you suggest I get over it. And no matter how many times you say it, there's no such thing as legitimate rape. And for the record, politicians, women, we taught the world how to make lemons lemonade. So until the day, your blood begs for its breath as you lay battered, broken, some foreigner seeds spilled in your sacred spaces while those who are supposed to protect create law that make you target, victim, agenda, inconsequential as they abort your dreams while celebrating your injustice today. Another human being falls from your body like grace. That's the day you get to walk in my shoes. But until then, politician, I just need you to know that when you try to get all up in here, uninvited, me, I'll be shutting that shit down.